I know she's your mom, but let's consider the facts. She's a paranoid delusional. Joseph wasn't a saint. He saw everything black and white. He was only kind to whomever he considered to be good by his narrow moral standards. The ones who wouldn't fit in that small mold didn't get any chances. None whatsoever. Do you know no, I, so? No, he could be here, but everyone knew. I respected Joseph. Oh. You seriously thought Grandpa was a bad parent? Everybody knew about it. People just tend to forget the bad qualities of men in wheelchairs. Joseph wasn't a saint. He saw everything black and white. He was only kind to whomever he considered to be good by his narrow moral standards. The ones who wouldn't fit in that small mold didn't get any chances, none whatsoever. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? No. Tell me, how long have you been the president of this club? Fifteen years now, give or take. VP for ten before that. Good. Then you can tell me why you stole Lily Meyer's paintings from Charles Wade in 86. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'd recommend you be careful with wild accusations like that. Oh, cut the bullcrap. I know it was you. I did some digging and found evidence pointing to the club. Is that so? You better be a good girl and present it to the sheriff, then. I couldn't care less about ratting you out, Bo. I just need to know what you did with the art. I have no intention of discussing your delusions as if they were facts, girl. Don't make me tell you again. No use, he's not gonna budge on the... No use, he's not gonna budge on this one. I need to figure out some way to make him more cooperative. What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? Do I look like a pious man to you? I've peed on churches. This may be a weird question, but have you ever met a bald man dressed in red? I've made a few bald men red. That count? What can you tell me about the Black Hats? Black Hats MC was founded in the 60s by my old man, my uncle, and two other local bikers. Conwell Springs is the mother chapter, and we have support clubs in six other locations across three states. There's a total of 16 members here. Twelve patch, four prospects. I'm the acting president of this chapter, as well as of the whole club. I've been for more than 15 years. The law give you any trouble? It used to be tough when your granddad was around. He and Truman ran a tight ship. And now? Now they try, but boys and the boy are a nuisance at best. I don't need to show. Care to join me for a smoke bow? Sorry, darling, I'm trying to quit. All right, I'm gonna hit the road. Right on. I have some business to take care of, but make yourself at home. Thanks, Bo. See you around. Hey, Brian's girl. Yeah? I overheard you. I'm Emmett. Hey. The boss man isn't usually that grumpy. He's got a lot on his mind. But I think I may know of a way to loosen him up. I'm all ears, buddy. Well, Bo and Brian are the double B's, as we used to call them. <laughs> they used to have this drink together. Brian came up with it. He called it a bloodier Mary. Sounds like my kind of drink. Yeah, it's basically a Bloody Mary, but with pig blood instead of tomato juice. I take that back. Gross. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just a Bloody Mary, but with a special ingredient added to it. If you say that special ingredient is blood, I will literally punch you. <laughs> no. Brian refused to tell anyone what it was. He only made it for special occasions. 
It's probably something uncommon, like a rare herb or some kind of expensive spice. So let me guess, if I can produce this drink for Bo, you think he would help me out? It'll make him remember Brian, which should go a long way. He hasn't had that drink since your old man disappeared. Brian was like a son to him. The boss would have died for him back in the day. If you could recall the good times with your father, he might change his mind. I guess it could be worth a try. But wait, why are you helping me? You're Brian's kid. That means you're family. We take care of family. Well, how was that drink compared with a regular Bloody Mary? Tasted a bit more like pepper and had a punch to it. It usually gave some pretty nasty hangovers. Oh, if you had a lot of them, you'd hallucinate some crazy shit. Pretty wild. Trippy. Thanks. You're welcome, darling. He's the bartender here. Doesn't appear to be a club member. Hey, bartender. Do you happen to know how to make a bloodier Mary? You mean a bloody Mary? No, this is something different. Afraid not. I can make your regular bloody Mary, though, if you want. Maybe later. I need to figure something out. All right, then. Impressive bar. These guys like to drink. Various pictures and mugshots of the club members. Some of them look pretty old. This club must have been around for a while. Not sure where that leads, but I don't think I have a reason to go in there. I used to be a bit of a pool shark. Been a while though. A member of this motorcycle club. I'd rather just talk to their leader. A member of this motorcycle club. I'd rather just talk to their leader. Emmett. He has a patch on his jacket that says Vice President. Hey, Emmett. Yeah? Uh, remind me again. What's the difference between a Bloodier Mary and a regular Bloody Mary? Tasted a bit like pepper and had a lot more punch. Gave some pretty nasty hangovers. And if you drank a bunch of them, you'd hallucinate some crazy shit. Alright, thanks. Anytime. The Black Hats. I suppose the name comes from the old Western trope. One hundred percent country music. Be still, my heart. Phew, out of order. My ears are safe. My father's in one of these photos. I'm barely resisting the urge to rip it to shreds. Looks like a specimen of the Red Scythe. Sorry, endangered flower, but I, uh, I really need to make a drink.
Bo Brunson, the acting president of the Black Hats. Hey, Bo, I have some more questions. I'm listening. I should give it to the bartender instead. I don't need to show him that. Do you know anything about this flower, Bo? Do I look like a florist to you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you crack me up, girl. Do you know what this is? Whoa. What? Do you recognize that? I saw one of those from my own eyes a few years ago. Really? Where? Middle of the woods, the middle of the city. Those things came from nowhere and gave me this crazy headache right on the plate in my head. At the time, I thought it was just a nasty case of migraine. You have a plate in your head? Yeah, titanium from a shrapnel wound I got in there. I see. Titanium isn't the least bit magnetic, is it? How the hell should I know? I'm no scientist. Do you remember where exactly on the road it happened? No. Like I said, I dismissed it as a migraine. Didn't pay too much attention as to where I was. Fair enough. I don't need to show- Hey, Bo, any idea of what this key opens? You ask weird questions, you know that? I don't need to show- I don't- Care to join me for a smoke, Bo? Sorry, darling. I'm trying to quit. I already showed that to him. Yeah, that won't get me into trouble at all. I don't need... Alright, I'm gonna hit the road. Ride safe. Hey, Emmett. Yeah? Uh, remind me again. What's the difference between a Bloodier Mary and a regular Bloody Mary? Tasted a bit like pepper and had a lot more punch. Gave some pretty nasty hangovers. And if you drank a bunch of them, you'd hallucinate some crazy shit. Alright, thanks. Anytime. Hey, bartender. Do you happen to know how to make a bloodier Mary? You mean a bloody Mary? No, this is something different. Afraid not, I can make your regular bloody Mary though if you want. Maybe later, I need to figure something out. All right then. It's a specimen of that red scythe flower. It smells a bit like pepper. I think this is what I need for the Bloodier Mary. I'd like a Bloody Mary. Coming right up. Oh, and add this, will you? Just something I like for flavor. Put it in a blender. Whatever you say. One Bloody Mary. Enjoy. Thanks, buddy. The club will cover that, Jose. Sure thing, VP. Thanks again, Emmett. You got it. It's a bloodier Mary, I think. Here's hoping it can make Bo a bit more cooperative. It's for Bo, not me. Hey, Bo. I've got something for you. I recognize that smell. You found your dad's recipe. Something like that. Man, is this a trip down memory lane? I keep expecting Brian to walk in here any second. You know, all this nostalgia is making me remember how much I really owe your old man. Yeah? Yeah. 
So here's the deal. In 86, Carl, my VP at the time, came to me and said he had a job lined up for the club. Some guy had offered him good do- Subscribe now. Do it. Yes, you. You right there.